Executive Director of Public Relations and Marketing for Hampton City Schools. I'm very excited today to have two guests from Joint Base Langley Eustis, Captain Preston Goodrich. Welcome. Thank you, ma'am. It's great to be here. And Christine Stiefel. Welcome. Thank you so much for having us. So today we're going to talk about something that's very important to Hampton City Schools and I'm sure to our military as well, the relationship mm -hmm. between our school division, our students, and the military. But first I want to start with you, Captain. Tell us a little bit about your current role and the career path that you took to get to your current role. Yes, so right now I work in the Force Support Squadron and I'm responsible for the dining facilities, the lodging, and fitness centers across Langley Air Force Base. I moved here about a year ago. Uh, my previous job was, was at the Pentagon. And all through my education, I've been uh, interested in, in math and engineering. And um, that's kind of led me to, uh, to the position I'm at now. And I've, I've really enjoyed being at uh, Langley Air Force Base and within the community. Well, that's a great transition to an, an upcoming event happening very soon, the uh, STEM Mission Orientation Day uh, at Langley. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so we're really excited about Mission Orientation Day. Uh, we have uh, partnered with school districts across the peninsula, and we're going to host approximately 400 high school students um, from all across the peninsula. And all of these students have interests in science, technology, engineering, and math and they're going to come on base uh, either to Langley Air Force Base or Fort Eustis. They're going to have the opportunity to interact with, with many of our personnel including civil engineers, uh, medical personnel, pilots, and, and other cr people across base that uh, use science, technology, and engineering in their jobs. So we're real excited to have them and to have been able to partner with uh, the local community. Now that's May 29th? That's correct. So it'll be May 29th. Uh, like I said, it's at Langley Air Force Base in, in Fort Eustis, and it's really going to be running uh, for the greater part of the day. So it starts around 8 o'clock and will be, be done around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And these are high school students? Correct. And I understand about 150 from Hampton City Schools, so I know our students are very excited right. about being there. So Christine, tell us a little bit about why you think it's important for um, the military to reach out to our students for STEM related activities? Well in general when you're talking about science, technology, engineering, and mathematics that's what today's job opportunities are and that's really the focus behind it. So when we look at our um, upcoming sophomores and juniors and they're preparing for whether they're going to go to college or get into the military, we want them to have all of their opportunities so they're prepared for whatever it is that they want to do and be successful in the future. Perfect. So tell us a little bit about your job because you're a school liaison and I don't know that people generally understand what that means. So what does that look like for you? For all of the school liaison officers, we what we look at is uh, being a conduit to our parents, our educators, and our military command so that they are um, all supporting the military connected child as they transition from location location. Um, I don't know if you're aware, but typically our military students from somewhere between pre-K and their senior year have moved nine times. Wow. So it's, it's significant. We want to make sure that we're all on the same page supporting those children. And so you would typically reach out to the school divisions in the area to help provide a transition or maybe a point of contact for families? How does that specifically work? We do connect directly to the school districts, primarily through the guidance counselors and the principals, letting them know what kinds of services we offer, um, as well as uh, the students. Obviously, the parents are typically familiar um, trying to reach out directly to us as they're preparing for this move. Um, so that we can help them through whatever school opportunities that they're looking for, because a lot of them are really looking for STEM related uh, schools and uh, magnet programs and things like that. So we want to make sure that they know what's available to them through the districts. And I understand you're not, you, you don't just reach out to Hampton City Schools, you have more school divisions in Absolutely. your jurisdiction. Who else do you have? 
We have uh, Williamsburg, James City County, Newport News, Public Schools, York County School Division, as well as Pocosin and uh, Gloucester. And certainly if our, if our families are further out than that, we're going to assist them as well. Okay, that's great. And I understand you've been in your job for a short time, so tell us a little bit about your background. Well, I have been in this particular position for a year, but um, my degree is actually social work, and I moved into um, child and youth services um, since probably about 2000. It's been quite some time, so I've worked with the middle school team program as their director and family child care for seven years, um, as well as the Child Development Center are moved into this position. So it's, they're all related in some way or shape with our children and uh, especially our military connected children. So we just wanna make sure that everything we do is surrounding uh, their best interest. Great, and Christine touched on this a little bit, but Captain, why do you feel like it's important for uh, Hampton City Schools and other school divisions on the peninsula to have a good relationship with um, Joint Base Langley Eustis. Why is that important to you all? Well, it's very important to me, uh, for, and I think for most of the military members, because we have families. Uh, we have children. My, my three daughters will be entering uh, school starting this year, and so I have a vested interest in uh, having quality education for my children and for my family. And like Christine was saying, I, I think that's important for everybody to have that opportunity to have a school liaison that can help you integrate uh, into the new environment because we do um, move around quite a bit. And so that's, I've been excited to, to work with the school districts to see the, uh, the amazing things that they're really doing in the, within each school district and, and feel excited. Uh, that my kids are going to be entering that and excited about all the great things that are happening. That's great. So is there anything else that you all want to share about um, the relationship between Hampton City Schools and, and Joint Base Langley Eustis or the STEM Day on May 29th? Well, I think the STEM Day is going to be a great way to uh, showcase the, the science and technology that our personnel use every day uh, to students who have an interest in that and allow them, you know, it allows us to participate in the educational process. And I'm just excited for the opportunity for our personnel to do that and for the students to get that first-hand knowledge of how the things that they're studying in schools uh, are applied within their very own community. It's real hands-on learning where you can make a connection. I have two sons as well in Hampton City Schools and there's sometimes when they'll say, what am I going to use this for? So it's always really important for our students to have the opportunity to have those hands-on real-world experiences. So we appreciate that you all will be doing that. And I have to say as well, you know, I haven't, I've been here less than two years, but I've been so impressed with how, um, how Joint Base Langley Eustis has really reached out to Hampton City Schools. I've, I've witnessed um, soldiers painting and planting flowers and reading to our students and serving as mentors and eating lunch with our students. It is so important to us. So on behalf of Hampton City Schools, I just want you all to know how much it is appreciated and how valuable you all are as a partner for our families and really for all of our students. I know the focus um, obviously is on the military child, but you all do so much more for us outside of the military child. You're really helping all of our students and that's very appreciated. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Well, thanks for coming on today. I appreciate you being here and good luck with the Mission Orientation Day. I will be attending as well for a few hours, so I'm really excited to see and we may have our cameras there as well to get some, some B-roll and share that in the future. And I hope you'll both come uh, to a future show and and let us know what's going on in the future with the relationship between the schools and uh, Joint Base uh, Langley Eustis. Absolutely, we're excited to do it. Thank you so much. And thank you for watching Wired In. Have a great week.